YouTube, 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 what's up, baby? Back in this thing again for another review. Well, hold up. Well, this is Q's Insight. I'm Cali, but today is not like a regular review, bro. Um, I just wanted to come through. Uh, just got my hair retwisted, bro, um, like uh, two days ago. Um, I know I got this like little headband thing on, but uh, I'm just trying to let that stay there so that way it doesn't... Um, get it loose, you know what I'm saying, for like the new growth or whatever, um, but I'll try to show you some of it, bro, uh, let's see, if I can, if I can like make it come to the front real quick, <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I can't really, I don't know, man, I got a baby shower tomorrow, bro, so I'm not really trying to like, like pull the thing down, bro, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to make sure this thing stays good, but yeah, let me see, pull it down a little bit. Yeah, it's still still smashed down and stuff, you know, things like that, whatever. Um, but hold up a second, pull this back up. E. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, so it's it's been seven years, bro. Seven years and some months for sure, bro. Um, since I've had dreads, uh, you know, you can see the length, bro. Um, when I started, my hair is probably about like six uh, inches, seven inches or so. And I just went from there, you know, I had got locked up one time, uh, my dreads, I had, I had got some dreads one time and they were like actually thicker. Um, but what ended up happening like over the time was, uh, when I went to wash my hair, everything just unraveled. So instead of going to the dude that did my hair, which she does now do my hair, um, I started going to my sister in LA. And, um, so she had did my locks and she made more, they were thinner, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, and then ever since my, my hair stayed locked and it was, it was been cool. Like, I don't know how the back really look, you know what I'm saying? But try to give you like a little back angle. Um, uh, I did get my hair done with like beeswax this time around. Um, to try to get it to hold a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? Um, my girl, her mom, Tracy, you know what I'm saying? She hooked it up and she did my hair for me for free. Oh my God. <laughs> Cause you know this be expensive, bro, like super expensive. But um, yeah, you know, so she hooked it up and um uh, but she used beeswax to try to make everything um sustain a little bit longer, you know. Um so yeah, bro, but seven seven months and some some or seven years and some months in, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's the length, bro. That's that's everything, bro. Um so I'll uh, I'll keep coming back on here doing like, you know, my dread journey videos, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't I'm not trying to like leave you guys uh out of the the loop or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll definitely be back with more videos with that um as well as uh you know, let me just go ahead and bring out some of the stuff that I use. Um so uh, this is one thing that I use, bro. This stuff is really really good. This pretty light has a nice smell to it and if you just want to you know uh moisturize your hair or your scalp this is definitely a good product and it's it's real cheap too it's not like it's super expensive or anything like that it's really cheap and this has actually like been around for like years like when i was younger um because i'm 33 but when i was younger this was around so um yeah but it's it says braid and extension uh sheen spray but still it's it's still it works. It works for the dress, believe me. Like I said, it has a nice aroma to it, you know, and uh, it's really light. Um, this is another one I will use as well. It's it's light. Uh, smells really smells really really good. Um, and like I said, you always you always looking for light products to stain your hair. That way, you know, because you don't. When you got dreads, you don't wash your hair like every day, you know, like other people. So you always want light products to be able to be applied in your hair and um you know something that smells good so it can just kind of last and you can keep on using it um you know throughout the days just to add it more on if you know what i'm saying you got a little you know what i'm saying you got a little smell you know, yeah, ain't cover that um this is another one i use um i just got this though uh not too long ago this stuff is spray or it's like a, a oil spray 
Um, so it's a little bit more heavier than the, the uh, spray I just showed you before. But this stuff smells really, really good, man. And um, it works very well, for sure. I definitely like this stuff. Um, so I will be definitely keep... Th this will be something that's, that's that will be in the in my little uh, Batman utility belt for my dreads, you know what I mean? Eh. Um, this is another spray that I use, bro. Um, this stuff is really good. I'm sorry, this, the thing is kind of bent or like has a dent in it. <laughs> but um, yeah, this stuff works really well as well. Um, it's an itch reliever as well, bro. Um, and it's also mentholated as well. So it, it gives a, it gives a real nice smell to your to your dreads as well. Um, and this is something that's light as well. Um, so it's, it's just, this is a good thing. This is a good thing, man. If, if you guys haven't tried this, I would definitely try this out. This is, uh, it's a, a lifesaver, you know what I'm saying? Um, and there was one more that, uh, well, I guess I got to show you guys this again. I think I showed it last time I did my other review, but this is what I used to wash my hair. Uh, when I wash my hair, the Cantu, um, this is, uh, you know, really good. Not too many additives, uh, smells smells fairly good you know what i'm saying it doesn't have like a super super dense smell to it but it just it gives you it gives it a nice little smell so that's for the um the shampoo um as far as the conditioner that i use when i'm um after i get done washing my hair with the shampoo is the same thing it's a uh, cantu as well now this is um you know it's a little thick but it's still not bad um you just gotta wash your hair out really well like as you're washing it you know what i'm saying get all that shampoo out get all that uh uh, conditioner out you know what i'm saying and then uh you'd be cool but this is definitely a, a good conditioner as well has a light smell to it pretty much similar to the shampoo so it just kind of carries over um i'm sorry about this i'm trying to find this last uh little uh, uh, thing that i had i can't find it um super unorganized right um but you know it's cool but it's um uh, it's another like little cream um for your hair where which it's light as well um but it's a little bit denser than this one and that one is made by the same people that uh makes this this uh um tropical root spray um but I can't find it so my bad um so yeah that um you know if you're new on a dread journey i would suggest that you invest in you know um nightwear you know what i'm saying like as far as like you know headbands kind of like this that you know they're large and they can hold your locks down when they just get fresh and be twisted and then you know what i'm saying it's not like like you can put this headband i can have it all around my head you know what i'm saying or i can have it just around the front and then the back is all the way down pulled to the bottom sometimes when you have headbands and you do that it'll like kind of you know put pressure on the, on the bottom of your, 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 your bottom row of your, in the back of your dreads. So this one is really light. So it's nice. It doesn't like really push up, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I like this, uh, you know, do rags, bandanas, um, you know, get you a big, I, I don't know exactly what they're called, but I got one just recently, um, because my hair is so long. So I get like a big old, like super extended bonnet. That's tight though. You know what I'm saying? Not loose. And, um, put that on my hair, put all my hair up in it, you know what I'm saying? And, um, that, that keeps you, uh, with a fresh look as, as, as much as possible. Um, also maybe trying to look into getting like satin sheets, uh, for your, um, or satin pillow sheets, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, uh, that's about it. Like, that's all I really know, you know, um, when you're washing your hair, uh, like I said, we don't get to wash your hair every day like other people. So in the, in a month's time, maybe you want to wash it, you know, two times, three times, uh, maybe even one time if that's what you're good with. And you got product to make your hair be able to smell good. And like, you know, you're not super uh, uh, active, like sweating a lot. You know what I'm saying? You should be good to go. But, um, you know, that's that's how much I pretty much wash it, like two, two, three times a month. Um, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll, sometimes I do do one month though. I'm not even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I have, uh, the product to make it smell good. I'm not really super active. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as, um, you know, 
going out here and playing football or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's, it's, it works out, you know? Um, but yeah, man, those are the products I use. I got to show you a little bit of my hair, bro. You know, I'm not getting all the good angles or whatever. I'm sorry, bro. You know what I'm saying? But this is, you know what I'm saying? Seven years and some months in, you know, um, get the back a little bit as much as I can. I don't know. You're gonna, you're gonna see everything, but yeah, man. And I'm happy with it. You know, my hair has grown so long, bro. I've, you know, beyond reach where I wanted to get to. Um, but I'm still going with it and I'm going to maintain going with it as long as I can, as long as I don't put too much stress on my hair. A lot of my dreads, um, are thinning out, you know what I'm saying? Like in certain areas and I've even lost some, so I got to get them, uh, put back in, you know, eventually. But right now I just kind of, it is what it is, you know, and everything still works out. It's a good thing that I have a lot of locks. So that way, if I lose some, you know what I'm saying? This doesn't, it, you can't really tell like as much as it would be if you only had like 10 locks, you know what I'm saying? And one of them disappeared, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so, um, hope you guys like this, uh, dread journey video, bro. Uh, like I said, I'll be back on here with more, you know, just sharing products, sharing tips that I, I've learned over the years or new things that I'm learning as well. Um, you know, also showing you like the jobs that, you know, certain people do like, you know, I will get my hair retwisted from my girl's mother. Um, I will get my hair retwisted from my homie, um, Cedric, you know what I'm saying? And you can see like the differences of what people do. Um, cause people do have, you know, everything is similar, but people may have different techniques. They may use different, uh, stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like Cedric, my, my homie, he likes to use a lot of natural products where in which it's not heavy in your hair. It doesn't really have like a heavy smell. Um, and so, you know, that's the difference, uh, from what my girlfriend's mother did. Cause she used a lot of, you know, a lot of beeswax and that's like to hold my hair, you know, in a better position for a longer type of, for a longer time, um, uh, for a longer period of time, but you know, that's heavier in your hair. So, you know what I'm saying? Like you, it, it's, it's a difference between the two. It's a good and it's a negative for each, each way you go for that situation when you're getting your hair done. Um, but yeah, man, I uh, hope you guys like the vid. Um, this is Q's insight. I am Cali until next time.